Guys, Buggy MG here, and we do another deck profile for the deck that I played at Madison Regionals about a little over a week ago. Um, I went two, six, and one. Not the greatest. This deck is good, but it's definitely not as good and uh, extended as it is in standard. So yeah, let's show you what I, I will, how my deck is. See, obviously, I play the play the four flare uh, flareons to do blaze ball for 110 once you're set up. And then for my supporting Pokemon, I got the uh, Team Magma's camera up, so I do the burning draft to get energies back from your discard pile onto him, and then use Flash Fairy to bring it up onto your uh, to your Flareon to help power it up. And then I got the two non half fart um entes this is good because dolly is two energy so you can just um you can start slowly setting it up as a backup or you can uh, blacksmith two energy straight onto there and it's 20 plus 20 more for each of your opponent's bench pokemon so you can most likely be doing some decent damage there which is nice if you need a, a second uh a Pokemon to use and you don't have a Flareon that's either set up or you don't have any on your on the field right now and obviously I run three um, Shamans most uh, important card in most decks uh, I help really helps for drawing in this as you might see as I show you some other cards so now for the supporters I obviously run for the Blacksmiths uh, put attach two energies, fire energies from my discard pile onto a fire Pokemon, which is really helpful to get those fire ends set up. I run two Lysander. Obviously, you should know what Lysander is. It's pretty. It's a good staple in a lot of decks. I ran two because I wanted to really get those Pokemon out off the bench. And then my only draw support support, I should say, is Professor Sycamore on three of those. That's also where the shamans come in. Give me more draw support. <clears throat> then I run four ultra balls. Help me get Pokemon out. Plus I can discard energy. Which will help me use my blacksmiths. Or the burning drafts or whatnot To help power up my Flareons. And then another really important card in this deck. Is the fighting fury belt. Plus 40 HP. And, uh, and you can do 10 extra damage. Which, if you attach that to it, it only works on basics. But if you attach that to the Flareon, you have 100, 210 HP, and that's pretty tanky. That's like the low for Megas, I think, which is not bad. And then, my stadium is three Scorched Earths, discard a Fire Energy, and slash uh, Fighting Energy, and draw two cards, which sometimes is good, because you get Fire Energy into Discard Power, and you can help draw more cards. So, there's another thing that I can help with my draw support uh, with uh, Professor Sycamores and the Shamans. And every once in a while, to get those crazy combos, you run two energy switches to help switch energy on your Flareons or back and forth or whatever, to get those crazy combos where you need more energy and you've already flash fired or you attach return or you play to support or you had extra one, you had one of those or two of those and you can switch and put energy on your um, your Flareons. Then I run two float stones for mostly the Shamans, maybe uh, camera up if I need be. Obviously, you don't want to put those on a on a Flareon if you if you really don't have to. And then the most important thing to get you set up in one turn is these battle compressors that I play. Allows you discard three cards, <clears throat> so you can discard. Usually, I discard a blacksmith and two energies. Which uh, then I could play a VS Seeker, get the Blacksmith back, and then I'll have two energy straight on a Flareon. That's if I have a Flareon too. And with that, you have to play four VS Seekers to help get those combos and those one turn setups. Another thing to help getting you those get set up a lot faster is these four Max Elixirs. Throughout the tournament, 
I I missed f maybe five out of the nine rounds we played for Max Elixir. So obviously my um, amount of energy I have is is good, and it's spread out enough to where I'm all, I'm almost always hitting Max Elixir and getting my Pokemon set up because you can put that you can catch it straight to a bench Pokemon. And then you can flash fire it up for an energy switch or whatever it helps or you can put it straight on just a flareon and you easily get set up and then for my energy is i play one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i played 12 fire energy in the stack <clears throat> so yeah that's my flareon ex deck that i played at regionals again i went it went two, six, and one. Unfortunately, it's well not as good as I wanted, but I still had a blast, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, I just want to mention that I'm going to be going to nationals in um, Columbus, Ohio. So that's gonna be cool too. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna play. I'm thinking right now, I'm toiling between like Waylord or Vespaquin. We'll see where it goes. I'll probably make more videos before um, Nationals comes. But yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Um, I'm Bucky Gamgee, and I will see you later.